colds and flus can cause havoc with your gym routine. There's nothing worse than starting out on a wellness journey, being motivated and even getting results and then you have to stop because you're sick. It's not all doom and gloom. In fact, moderate intensity exercise can help to boost your energy levels and help to unclog your nasal passages as well. The rule is to make sure that your symptoms are above the neck. So anything with a bit of a clogged nose or nasal congestion, a little bit of a headache, a sore throat, you can actually exercise at a moderate intensity. And by that I mean doing stretches, light resistance training and toning exercises, and then walking moderately on a treadmill. If you're wanting to push up the resistance a little bit more, then you can increase the incline of the treadmill. Anything below the neck and you need to be very, very careful. So if you're suffering from a fever, if your muscles are aching, or if you have a really bad chest or a tightness in your chest, you should avoid exercising at all costs. In fact, if you're unsure at all whether you should be exercising or not, rather seek the advice of your GP than just embark on your normal training program. If you're familiar with your body and you know what your resting heart rate is or even your blood pressure, you will know that because it's elevated, even slightly, that there's a really good chance that you're coming down with either cold or flu. And for those couple of days, you need to take it easy, boost your vitamin C intake and lower the intensity of your training. Instead of stopping altogether, just reduce the intensity and do something as opposed to nothing.